president that took away the life of General Ogola. I know the KDF are as concerned as I am and indeed the family and every Kenyan on the life of General Ogola. And I want to assure the country that the KDF, our Kenya Air Force, have the requisite integrity and professionalism to make sure that there will be no shroud of doubt on what happened to General Ogola. Let me also say, as a country, that for a very long time, ethnic bigotry, ethnic profiling, ethnic chauvinism has informed our politics and the events in our country. I want to commit to Kenya that we decided and I committed we are opening a new chapter in Kenya where every Kenyan will have an opportunity on account of merit and no other consideration. There is no position that is preserved for any group or any community or any religion. Kenya belongs to all of us. I want every child as they grow in Kenya for them to know that merit is going to be the yardstick for the far they can go in their lives. That is the Kenya that we all want to belong to and that is the Kenya that I believe in and that is the Kenya that I will work hard to make sure that it becomes a reality. That is our country. And therefore, as this great Kenyan, as we lay him to rest, he is a great example of humility, a great example of integrity. You can see the influence he has had on his family. His family is a great inspiration to all of us. In fact, they have made all of us strong because they believed in God and their father brought them, very, brought them up very well. Joel and Lorna, you are great examples of children. I was surprised, amazed actually, that my own daughter was greatly influenced by her. And yesterday, my daughter called me, Charlene, she's here, and she told me I must go to the funeral of General Logola. And I want to speak. I told her, Charlene, first, there is no way you are going, and there is no way you are going to speak anywhere. <laughs> so, but as fate would have it, she found her way here. <laughs> and before I could notice, she was on the microphone. is how General Ogola was influential. Again, let me say this. I had asked my wife that since we were yesterday in uh, at uh, in Langata, maybe today she can do something else because she too insisted that I must be 
at the funeral of General Logola to stand by Eileen because they were a great people to our nation. That is the kind of influence General Logola had on people, not necessarily people they work with every day, but people who knew what he did for our country. Many people may say many things because they don't understand what those of us who have worked closely with General Ogola understand about the potential that he would do for our country. I am very sure the generals here know that they have lost a solid man. And I wish we could all spare him and give him a decent send-off. He deserves it. So, to the family, Mama, as I have told you, to Joel and uh, Lona, as I told you, all of us, the government of Kenya is going to stand by this gallant general of Kenya. We are going to stand by you as a family and we are going to ensure that the plan General Ogola had for the KDF will be implemented and the great influence he had on our country will continue. I want to thank all the leaders who have come and all of you have come to honor this great son of our country. To give assurance again to all our children that we are opening a new leaf and a new chapter where every child in Kenya is equal. Thank you very much. God bless you. Rest in peace, General Francis Omondi Ogola. Asante Nisan. Let us appreciate His Excellency the President one more time with a round of applause for his speech and his comforting words. Thank you, Your Excellency. Let us kindly take our seats. And His Excellency's speech ties a knot on the tributes. And now would like to move to the church as we get to the tail end of this service. And we'll start with the reading of the word today. And the reading is going to be done by Professor Julius Ochuodo, after which we shall hand over to His Grace, the Most Reverend Dr. Jackson Olesa Pitt, to give us a short word of encouragement as we continue to mourn the fallen general. So we'll allow him to access the platform where we have a reading which will be led by Professor Julius Ochuodo. Thank you. <laughs> 